Welcome back everybody, this is Spotlight Guy from AC Syndicate TV and today I'm going to show you how to flash clockwork mod recovery on your FB15 and FB17 ICS based ROMs. Now there's a few steps to this, uh, I'll walk you through it pretty carefully, just uh, watch and I hope you enjoy this. Alright, first thing you're going to need to do is go to uh, the first download link that's in the description of this video and it's going to take you to XDA developers and to uh, SF, ah, excuse me, SF Hubs thread for the auto root tool. Once you get to there, you're going to have to scroll down until you get to the download link. Right there. So download the e4gt auto.zip. And while that is downloading, you're going to want to click on the second download link that I have in the description of this video. And that's going to take you to Steady Hawkins thread for the Rogue Stock FB17 version 1.2.1 recovery. And once you get there, you're going to scroll down, scroll down, until you get right here. The Rogue stock FB17 version 1.2.1 Odin Tar. Once you have both of those downloaded, you're going to want to navigate to your folder uh, with your E4GT Auto and then you're going to right click it and go to 7-zip and extract. I already have mine extracted so after that you're going to you're going to want to navigate to your uh, folder where you downloaded your uh, FB15 tar. Once you get there, you're going to right click it, 7-zip, extract, and you'll get your Z image. Now, what you're going to need to do is you're going to want to cut or copy, I copied mine, uh, the Z image, go back to your E4GT auto folder, then click on it, Click on the copy to SD folder, the 000 root folder, and then you're going to want to paste the Z image into this folder. As you can see, I already did that on my computer, and it's right there, Z image. Alright, once you have done all that, you downloaded the E4GT auto tool, the uh, FB17 uh, Odin Tar, and you uh, extracted both of the files, got the Z image, and pasted it into the 000 root folder. Then your, uh, you got to go back to your phone. On your phone, you're going to go to Settings, Developer Options, and you're going to check USB debugging. Mine's already checked. I'm back out. And then you're going to connect your USB cable to your phone. Now while that's connecting, I just want to make sure that you guys have your uh, Samsung Keys drivers installed. If you do not, then I'll provide that link in the description of this video as well. Alright, so once all that is done, you are going to go back to your E4GT folder, the main folder, and then go all the way down to Run First. It'll bring up this uh, this window right here. All right, now what you need to do, as you can see, it is uh, in, for the third option, which is C. It's install boot image slash Z image. So you're gonna hit C and press Enter. You have a bunch of options right here, and to uh, to install the uh, recovery that we just the Z image that we just pasted into that subfolder of E4GT Auto then you're gonna need to go all the way down to install boot image generic put Z image and copy to SD 000 root which we already did so you're gonna hit N and press enter alright right here is just some prerequisites USB uh, make sure USB debugging is enabled USB storage mode is disabled. Let me get a little closer. 
Samsung USB Android dri drivers are installed and phone is connected to USB port and recognized. If all that is good, you press any key to continue. Alright, it's going to ask for root permission, so make sure your phone is turned on and you're ex you exited the lock screen. Press any key to continue. Alright, and if you were looking at your phone when you hit that last key, then it said that uh, permissions were granted, and right now it is installing the recovery. All right, so now it's saying get ready to reboot. It might take slightly longer, so don't worry about it. And press any key to continue. All right, and now we are re uh, rebooting. Now what popped up on my phone is a little warning saying the device manager has stopped. Uh, I just pressed OK and it went on to its reboot. You can unplug your USB cable from here. Alright, Android is upgrading. Alright, this is my first time doing this. I uh, read through some tutorials and kind of uh, had to grasp on this concept of how to get this going. So I wanted to uh, videotape the first time I did this. So uh, so just to let you guys know, if this is your first time doing it. Then uh, don't worry. I'm this is my first time doing this as well, and I'm videotaping it to show all you guys. All right, so we're re we are rebooted. Preparing SD card. All right, let's check and see if CWM is on here. We're gonna power off. Okay. All right. Once your buttons on the bottom of your phone have blacked out and your phone vibrated, then it is fully shut down and to get to clockwork mod recovery all you gotta do is hold the up volume button and the power button hold them down until the screen flashes and let go all right we have recovery look at that so it was actually I mean there was a few steps to this process but if you just follow my instructions then it's very easy to do uh, as you can see, Rogue ET Recovery 1.2.1. I'm going to reboot the system. And just because I forgot to show you guys, I will show you right now that I was on uh, the FB15 ICS version. So this will work. And uh, yeah, once it boots back up, I, I will show you. See, Android 4.0.3, FB15, kernel version FB17. Well, this is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I just wanted to make this because some people were complaining that they don't like to use Odin. And uh, when they did flash uh, recovery onto their ICS leak builds, that they were getting the yellow triangle. So... The, as you can see, or as you saw, this will completely eliminate that. And it's, uh, I mean, once you get those steps down, it's really not that hard to do. Uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and all my uh, social networking sites, Facebook, Twitter, Google+. And uh, rate this video if you uh, thought it was helpful. As always, this is Spotlight Guy, signing out.